Long ago, we reached for ultimate power and broke the world. But after the upheaval, a new world arose. The Shattered Isles. A world on the edge of the maelstrom. Etheric storms revealed new islands. And with them, new dangers. Even a broken world can provide shelter from the storm. We set sail to find a new home. The behemoths beat us to it. We were not going down without a fight. Cat Sorrel was one of the many who rose to the challenge. Who is Katarin Sorrel? Kat is our mentor during our time on the Shattered Isles, but what more can we learn about Kat herself? What we likely know about Kat already is that she was one of the original slayers to rise up against the behemoths on the Shattered Isles. Kat's biography on the wiki tells us that Kat's parents saved her from the destruction of their island home, but that they weren't able to save themselves, so Kat had to raise herself. We learn from our in-game journal entry that she did so in St. Avelaine, a skyport town of the Shattered Isles. There were some shady characters in St. Avelaine, and Kat had to rely on her natural fighting skills to make it by. What made her such a commendable fighter was her drive to one day repay the behemoths for taking her parents away from her. One day, she met Marcus Bowert. The two of them became good friends. Enough for Kat to tell Marcus that she wanted to fight against the behemoths on the frontier. Marcus was a merchant sailor at the time, and saw this as an opportunity to become his own boss. He had been saving up funds for a while now and happened to have enough to buy his very own airship. Together, they set off for the frontier settlement of Ramsgate. Now, here's where lore would likely confuse some of you, as this would have to be the old Ramsgate and not the one that's currently in the game. As we learned when new Ramsgate came to be, Archon Drew saved us all, thanks to the help of slayers in collecting corrupted Arcanite. The island was left in ruin, but Archon got us all out and we were able to rebuild the city and give it new life. Just know that, because on this point, if I'm referring to Ramsgate, it will likely be in reference to the old Ramsgate. You know, the one that didn't put me to 40 FPS. Just weeks after Kat and Marcus's arrival in Ramsgate, Kat was forced to put her combat skills to the test and faced one of her biggest fears. A Nasher started devastating the upcoming settlement, spreading chaos among the Isle. These days, we actually play as Kat during this scene. So at this point in our story, Kat is only as raw or as practiced a talent as we are when we slay this Nasher. We do see just how small Boer's ship is though as we come upon Marcus hovering over the location of the behemoth. It was just what Marcus could afford at the time, but soon enough he would be piloting an entire fleet of rather sizable airships. Marcus is there to help Cat through, giving her tips so she might get rid of the behemoth faster. With proper timing, you can dodge right through a behemoth attack and escape unscathed. If you're hurting, use a potion. Ramsgate doesn't need any more dead heroes. Your weapon is charged. Hit that behemoth with something special. Once the Nasher is defeated, Kat realized that this passion for delivering payback to the behemoths was her true calling. Throughout the next couple of years, she helped to defend Ramsgate from behemoths while the settlement was building its foundations. When she wasn't fending off the behemoths, she was training new slayers, giving them a guiding hand to survival on the Shattered Isles. Kat then journeyed across the Shattered Isles, learning everything she could about how to fight the behemoths. She worked with the ultimate goal to reclaim the Shattered Isles from the behemoths so that one day its people may prosper and not live in fear of these beasts. In a lore entry on PlayDauntless.com, we learn that we have Cat to thank for the introduction of Aether Strikers on the Shattered Isles. During this journey and learning period, she came across the Adamant Temple, a hidden refuge on a wandering isle. She found fighting monks there who deemed themselves the Adamant Fists, and they dedicated themselves to perfecting hand-to-hand -hand combat. The Adamant Fists are said to have been living 
living weapons, human hammers that channeled Aether from their souls into their hands. Kat studied with the adamant fists and eventually learned enough to take down many in hand-to-hand -hand combat. She was then able to study with the scarred master of the adamant fists who taught Kat their secrets of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Their weapons were the Aether Strikers, gauntlets that drew ambient Aether into the human body through inexplicable means. When it was time for Kat to depart for Ramsgate once more, the Scarred Master gave Kat one of her personal Aether Strikers to take back with her. Kat gave this striker to Archon Drew, the Aether Smith of Ramsgate, to see if he could improve on or reproduce the weapon, as only one striker isn't enough to take on the behemoths. Much later, Kat knew that the Shattered Isles would need the help of the Adamant Fists to continue to keep the behemoths at bay. She would tell Wayfinder Captains to seek out the Scarred Master and let her know that Ramsgate needed their aid. The Scarred Master eventually did respond to this as the Adamant Fists and Ramsgate would be able to mutually benefit from one another. The Adamant Temple was destroyed in the Skyquake, meaning they were in need of a new land to call home. The Scarred Master and a few followers were able to set up shop in Ramsgate and in return allowed Slayers to learn the secrets of the Aether Strikers. However, there was an issue with these Aether Strikers as far as the Slayers were concerned. They were designed for hand-to-hand -hand combat against other humans, not behemoths. Archon Drew was able to work with the Scarred Master to solve this very problem, and now to this day, the Scarred Master teaches upcoming Slayers in the Way of the Fist. Lore entries like these are actually pretty awesome, but it would be really nice if we could get more of this type of stuff in-game. And it would be really, really nice if we could get some of these lore backstory type stuff animated in-game. But the game tells us that Kat chose to hang up her blade and focused her main role on training the next generation of Slayers. The wiki, though, mentions that Kat didn't choose this, but rather injuries are what forced her into retirement. It also tells us that Kat is not only a source of our inspiration for slaying and our knowledge, but also a parental substitute style figure, cracking wise and being stern with us when necessary. Throughout our time in the questline, Kat continues to push us to upgrade our gear to its best form, as well as entrusting us with threats still very new to Ramsgate. Upon the completion of Bright Shadows, the last quest of the storyline main quests, Kat tells us that we remind her of why she started training new slayers in the first place, to watch them ascend from being a slayer and become a myth killer and a legend breaker, which if we were around during the open beta intro days means we've come quite a long way in her eyes. Nice of you to join us. Take your position, Rook. Listen up. I don't train failures. It's not worth my time. And time is not on our side. There are more behemoths turning up on the frontier every day. And like it or not, you lot are all that stands between them and the good people of Ramsgate. The people who pay me to make sure you know your axe from a pole in the ground. Hold fast back there, people. There's a bit of turbulence. <laughs> Today's the day you prove you can all be let off the leash. I'm not going to be waiting for you at the drop zone, in case things go wrong. Today you prove you're not just recruits, you're slayers.
Perhaps she thought there was something special about us ever since we saved her from falling off the airship on that day. And Kat shall continue to train the Slayers so that one day a student may have the knowledge to take over for her in the fight. But for now, she still has yet to give up on her mission, the victory over the Behemoths. And with that, we've covered some insight as to the history of Kat and the backstory of our mentor throughout the playthrough of the game. If you guys enjoyed, consider leaving a like. And if you enjoy Dauntless content and aren't subscribed already, consider subscribing to the channel where I post Dauntless content every week. I've been Trevor, I go by the Mr. Trails, and I will catch you guys next time.